In this video, I'm going to do a thinkorswim tutorial of how to use the Active Trader uh, tab and set up a cool looking chart setup. So let's jump right into it, but do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe, and here we go. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is go to your trade tab, then go to Active Trader. This is what you should see. Okay, um, here I'll uh, actually reset this and this is actually what from a very beginning is exactly what you'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this grid. I'm going to left click one time. I'm going to close this and you'll see over on this side you have a bunch of different things, right? You actually have and we'll go through them really quick. You actually have um, quick kind of buy sell right? So if you don't want the active trader on the side, um, but you want to buy and sell really quick, you could do these. You could set up bracket orders, however you want things like that, right? So if I want to do a uh, scalp of two cents by six, I have it, or five, I have it preloaded. I go here and then I could just click buy or sell. It's all customizable in there. Second thing is do you want time in sales, right? You you have that active trader. This is your trading grid. Uh, the big buttons is kind of just a quick access, buy market, sell market, uh, things like that. It's all customizable. Just click on this little click wheel up here. Then we actually have charts, right? So we have one chart, two charts, three charts. So if you want three charts on this one grid, you're able to do that. Uh, then we have phase scores, which is all about company uh, fundamentals, right? So you can kind of do your research via this uh, little tab right here. Then we have dashboard, just quick buy, sell uh, at the market type of order trading. We also have level two and then any live news. Now, this is a way we could set something up, right? We could go live news. Let's now go charts two and three. Okay. Actually, let's get rid of these. Or yeah, let's leave these guys here. And then we'll put a dashboard, right? So we now have any news. We have our level two. We have our uh, one click buy and sell. And then we have three charts. Well, the first chart, I might come over here and say, I want a chart like this, right? For my S&P E-mini futures. If you want to help support my channel, get some education and also weekly trade levels, then make sure you check out my $99 S&P future weekly trade zone and video course bundle. You will receive support and resistant trade levels every single weekend and you will get my top five trading strategy video course bundle with my top five uh, trade strategies that I use on a daily basis. So for more information, check the link down below or go to daytradingfearless.com. But back to the video. Now you could see up here, I have all these um, things that's trend line Fibonacci price level, right? So if I want, they're all one, one click quick access, right? So if I want a trend line, I could draw trend lines very quickly. If I want Fibonacci's, I could come over here and draw them instead of ha actually having to come down here and find it. Or if you click the middle of your mouse, it pulls it up too. Okay. So we actually have that to get that, um, unpin just click the pin or so the pin it'll always be there if i unpin it then what will happen is it'll go hide to be able to find that go into this little wheel right here and then go onto my tools and then have select on each chart right so it'll show up on all of your charts now the second chart we want to do is let's say we want to do a quick three minute market profile because I uh, I day trade the S&P futures, right? So let's change this to a one day. So now I have a market profile and then over here, I might come over here and say, hey, I want this chart to actually be a five minute chart. 
right? So now I have a one minute, a three minute, and a five minute. Okay, so we've kind of set this whole thing up. Now you might say, hey, I don't care about the dashboard. Let's remove it. Don't care about level two. Don't care about the news, right? So now we have something a lot cleaner with more real estate. Now, another thing we could do is come up here and say, hey, let's do two of these. So I'll come over here and maybe I'll say, I want to watch Apple at the same time as the S&P futures. I'll come over here, do a chart, and then I'll go, um, I only want two charts. I want a daily chart down here, we'll say, and then I want a five minute chart of Apple up here. Okay, so now, I have my S&P futures, and then I also have just two charts, right? If you want only one, just hide it. So it's really, really cool how you could do it. Now, if you want to add an active trader into this, right, to be able to do quick little um, trading, right, where they're bracket orders, you could add that in with it. So it's very, very customizable. Hopefully this chart kind of helps you out and gives you a potential idea of what to do. Once you have everything done here, I would suggest coming up here and then uncheck show sidebar and cells. And it'll just give you a little uh, cleaner look and a little more real estate for when you're trading. So hopefully uh, this helps guys. Um, let me know, uh, leave a link down below if you guys like this uh, type of uh, tutorials. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon.